coming in at number 82, we have Los Angeles Chargers wide receiver Keenan Allen. And, you know, this, this is an interesting one because I know a lot of people might see this pick in relation to Amari Cooper, who I had at number 84 two videos ago, and they might be scratching their heads. You know, what the heck does this six foot two, you know, 4.71 40 yard dash guy, what could he possibly do better than, do better than Amari Cooper? And, you know, in a sense, I, I kind of agree with you. Amari Cooper is way more talented and, and way more of a physical specimen than Keenan Allen could ever dream of being. But at the same time, when you flip that, Keenan Allen has been, has been, you know, putting up elite production at a level that Amari Cooper has never even dreamed of. And, you know, there's something behind that. And hopefully I can show you guys exactly what that is in today's video. And kind of referencing that production, Keenan Allen, he actually tore his ACL back in 2016. And he only played two quarters in that year. It was on opening day. It was a, it was a really sad injury. And, you know, obviously there are questions. Will this man be able to recover if he does at what level? And, you know, Keenan Allen has, has pushed those questions aside and answered them with flying colors. He's had, in these past three years, he's put up an average of 101 catches per, per year. He's put up 1,262 yards per year and six touchdowns per year. That is that's insanely consistent elite level production. So what is it that's getting him open on such a consistent basis? First thing first, it's his release. Look at him here on this in route against uh, Jonathan Joseph down at the bottom of your screen. A lot of receivers, they're just going to take uh, on an in, they're going to run a vertical release and, and snap it off after five yards and just, you know, hope they separate, right? Well, Keenan Allen, again, he doesn't have those physical gifts that a lot of wide receivers do. As I mentioned, 4.71 40-yard dash time. But, but a guy like this, Keenan, he, he proves to you that speed is not everything. So look at how off the snap he's going to be playing mind games with Joseph, just just doing what looks like almost a hop step layup essentially in basketball, right? He takes two kind of skip steps, free steps. And, and what does that do? It, it makes Jonathan Joseph in his mind think and kind of question what the heck is this route? And, and as a result, it gets him all off kilter. You, I don't know if you can see it that great from this view, but Joseph flips his hips and he's unable to recover. No, you can't, but you do see the nice contested catch that Keen is able to make. Look at how Joseph, how he commits to having his hips turned already towards the outside. What does Keenan do? He's able to, after that second hop step, skip step, he's able to put that right foot in the ground and just break that route inside and, as a result, create just enough separation to come down with a contested catch and, and get an easy five yards for the Chargers. And here's another one, this time, again, against the Texans in that same game. And we'll get him here lined up in the slot up against Bradley Roby. You know, luckily we have this tilted off off-centered camera so we can get a really nice picture of what he does on this release. But again, this is just going to be an out route. And what I want you to see is how Keenan Allen, he, he initially starts this route as if it's going to be an inward breaking route. And then they kind of tosses one of those hop steps in there right into kind of his cut outside as he points that left foot in the ground and explodes outside. And, and look at what, look at the separation that that affords Keenan. It's so impressive because again, he would think that in, in a little five yard window, Keenan Allen would not get two yards of separation on on a guy like Bradley Roby but but that's exactly what what this type of release does because again he when he starts it in like that Bradley Roby he's starting to open his hips up because he thinks and he, he thinks that he's gonna have to turn and run with Keenan across the middle or something inward breaking well well again Keenan tosses that hop step in gets that left foot pointed in the ground and just explodes outside and as a result he's gonna keep Bradley Roby guessing and in this case guess wrong as he as he surrenders this out route. And here's another one. This time he's lined up down at the bottom of your screen against Lions cornerback Darius Slay. And we, we all know how great Darius Slay is. Well, well, Keenan Allen, he has something to say about that because, again, he's going to use kind of a quick stutter step release where he, he's going to give Darius Slay the, the thought that potentially he's trying to go for an outside release on a streak, right? Well, actually, it's going to be a quick little slant pattern. And, and I know you can't really see that, but what you can see from that view is just the separation that it creates. You know, that's against a man coverage cornerback like D. Slay two yards like that of separation is, is wonderful on just a quick slant. Let me, let me see if I can pause it for you guys so you can see the outside step that I'm talking about. See how, see how Slay has inside leverage on him right now. Slay's actually in a great position for the slant. Well, what this, what this other step does that, that's angling towards the sideline is it makes, it makes Slay start to open up his hips because he's worried about getting beat over the top. He's worried about turning and running with Keenan Allen. Well, what happens? Left foot in the ground, a, a really nice, quick, quick firm cut back inwards towards the field of play and Darius Slay is way out of position and you know it just plays like that where even against some of the NFL's best Keenan Allen is still able to get open and here's one that I really like because you know it's it's uh, Keenan Allen going up against Kendall Fuller in this Chiefs versus Chargers game and what you're going to see is Keenan's ability to just use his his quick footwork to just be all in the mind of Kendall Fuller and that's what you're going to see here off the snap as 
as he utilizes kind of a, a almost a dead leg step with the, with that right foot. And and watch how how Kendall Fuller he starts to turn and go because now at this point, Keenan Allen after that dead leg he he was he was accelerating at the outside hip of Fuller. What does that usually mean? It usually means that that wide receiver is trying to push deep and and he's going long, right? So you, you see how Fuller's reacting to that. I know this isn't the best camera view, but but Fuller's getting ready to turn and bail. Well, what does Keenan Allen do? He, he puts a foot in the ground and, and runs a really crisp out route, and as a result. Kendall Fuller is, is is tripping and falling all over himself. And, you know, it's just plays like these where, where Keenan Allen's able to stay in the minds of these number one cornerbacks and, and create separation when he has no business of it. Because, again, this is just such a simple, quick little out route. But, again, just look at the massive amount of separation Keenan creates just by just by throwing, up, throwing out a dead leg and then using his quick footwork to get in and out of his breaks. And another thing that Keenan Allen does so well is just – his ability to really contort his body and make these spectacular catches that he really has no business making based on the throws. Well, on this play, it's not a terrible throw by Rivers, but what it is is it's a quick hitch route by Allen where he's turning back towards the inside expecting, you know, expecting to get the first down right around that 13-yard line. Well, what happens is Phillip sees Lions linebacker Jalen Reeves-Mabin. He, he has a good he has a good drive on this route. So Phillip places this ball almost back shoulder and outside towards the sidelines and forces Keenan to, to turn the other way and, and try and make a circus-like grab to haul it in. Well, with Keenan Allen, you know, opposed to most receivers in the league, with Keenan Allen, this is a catch that he, he's able to make because, again, he's able to extend out with that upper body, make sure his, his lower body's inbounds. You know, this, this play, he actually does have a couple inches to spare for sure, but it's still really impressive about how he's able to make this catch at full extension like that for Chargers first down. And here's another one. This time it's against the Chiefs in the red zone. And what you're going to see is a quick out route where, where this time Philip forces Keenan to tort his body in the air to, to not only you know, eat that contact by Kendall Fuller, but also, but also be able to find, locate, and haul in this pass for six points. And that's exactly what Keenan Allen is able to do. You know, it's, it's, not, you know, it's not a great pass by Phillip, but, but Keenan's able to go up there, grab it, and, and you know, remain in bounds narrowly he almost he almost touched that hand out of bounds first but he's able to get both feet down and, and put six points on the board on a catch that I'm not sure how many guys of Keenan's kind of size and athletic profile are, are bringing in and here's another one this time it's against Adoree Jackson and the Tennessee Titans and you know this one's this one's interesting because again Keenan gets very little separation he he runs that vertical route with them and he cuts it back he turns to the inside so I don't know if this was meant to be a curl route or a comeback because you know, kind of where he ended up on the field suggests a comeback, but the way he opened up to the inside suggests maybe a curl route. So either way, it doesn't doesn't matter that much. He just does a great job of coming back to that football and and really extending out almost at just a flat 180 degree angle with his body to haul this ball in. And you know, you saw the entire Titan sideline saying that was incomplete, that was incomplete. And for most receivers it might be, but Keenan Allen is definitely not most receivers at that catch point. Another thing that just jumps off the tape of Keenan is his creativity in terms of, you know, getting from point A to point B. How is he doing it? And, you know, this play, it's going to be a simple in route. But, but Keenan Allen, you know, he, he very rarely just has simple vanilla routes. And that's exactly what you're going to see here going up against zone coverage uh, by, this, by this linebacker on the Kansas City Chiefs. So, you know, knowing it's a linebacker, knowing he, he does, you know, he might not have the straight line speed advantage, but he has the agility advantage for sure. What he's going to do is, is push this route. Uh, route stem vertically right at the linebacker and get him frozen because he has to be ready to turn and go and you know be wary of of wherever Keenan might break break this route off right well what does Keenan do is he's kind of angling this to the outside I know it's tough to tell from this camera view you'll be able to see it better on the next one but then as as that linebacker has his hips turned towards towards kind of this this pylon on the right side Keenan knows that he wants to actually work the middle of this field that his teammate is clearing out for him right now so he's going to He's going to put that left foot in the ground, and instead of just cutting to the inside, he wants to give that that other offensive player just a, a half second longer to clear out that space. So what does he do? He hits a really nice spin move and actually utilizes number 59's outward going momentum against him. And as a result, that's what kind of creates all that space and gets him wide open. You know, because it's not just Keen Allen's ability to get from point A to point B, but it's his knowledge of, okay, I have to be a little bit more patient here. I have to let Hunter Henry clear the middle of this field out. And then I'm going to use this defender's momentum against him to, to spin off of him and get just enough space to, to secure the catch. And I went pretty, pretty deep on this in Amari Cooper's video. So I'm only going to give one slide about it for Ken Allen, but 
you know, it's really impressive how he's able to use his eyes to manipulate his defenders. And that's exactly what you're going to see here on this play against, again, former, former Pro Bowl All-Pro guy Darius Slay. And you know, what you're going to see here is it's a simple, it's a simple corner route where, where Keenan Allen goes for an inside release. And, you know, before he, before he really breaks this route off and branches it towards the sidelines, what I want you to see is what he does with his head and, you know, really how he turns his head back and, and what does that mean, right? Usually when a, a wide receiver turns his head towards the quarterback, it means that they are either expecting the ball or receiving the ball. And Darius Slay, knowing that, knowing that Keenan Allen's been, been eating them up all game, D. Slay is going to be super aggressive here and try and jump this route to get an interception, what appears to be a post route based on this inside release and angle that Keenan's working at. Well, well, what is it actually? It's not a post route at all. It's actually a corner route. And look at how we doubt just that simple head fake there throws Darius Slay all out of whack as he's going to go chasing this ball that never comes. And, and he's able to get huge separation as a result. You know, it's just so impressive because again, that's not something, that's not something crazy difficult to do. You know, he just tossed his head back, but it's something that, you know, you have to time perfectly to be able to sell Slay on it. And, and he does. And as a result, he, he gets, he gets a pretty big chunk play off the back of it. And no matter how much kind of separation you're able to generate off your route running or off your release, the, the end goal of a wide receiver is to, is to haul in passes. And Keenan Allen does that just about as good as anybody. Because, you know, what you're going to see here is, again, a nice little creative route where he pivots outside. You, you see the body control as he, as he leaps up and, you know, extends to grab this ball. And, you know, he doesn't only expend, extend his body. He's also – he also has his arms almost at a full extension as well as he's kind of snagging this ball that, you know, again, he, he really doesn't have much business grabbing. And, you know, it's just a beautiful catch that, that Keenan Allen's able to make on really a game-in, game-out, week-in, week-out basis for the Chargers. And I really like this play a lot because one thing that you often hear scouts and different people in the football community talking about is your receivers that are hand catchers versus body catchers, right? And uh, a body catcher is somebody who, who has to use their, their frame to help – you know, secure that, secure that ball. Well, a hands catcher is somebody who, who has the strength and hand-eye coordination to go out and grab it no matter where that ball is. And you know, ultimately, they, they, even though they might be smaller in stature, some of those guys, they have a larger catch radius because they're able to utilize this entire range opposed to just this range. So key down on this play, he shows off the fact that he is most certainly a hands catcher. And, you know, again, it's going to be a simple hitch route where, where Phil throws this on that back shoulder. And even though the ball creeps up on Keenan Allen just a tad, just look at how he's able to toss out those long arms and, and make a beautiful, a beautiful grab and pivot into, you know, kind of that transition from receiver to runner as he picks up the first down. It's just a beautiful play where, you know, there's not, there, there's not that many receivers that, that are just able to, to have that kind of hand-eye coordination to, at the very last second, toss those hands out there and, and haul in, you know, kind of a laser thrown by Philip Rivers. And I like this play because, you know, not only does it show Keenan's great hands, but it also shows a little bit of the stuff we were talking about earlier in terms of his release and just ability to, to run some nice routes. And, you know, that's what you're going to have here where he's basically challenging D. Slay. You know, hey, if you, if you want to take on the challenge of guarding me all game, following me around the entire field, well, then I'm going to challenge you and take you to the deep waters where you might not be as comfortable in kind of this nickel cornerback role. And, you know, what you're going to see here, opposed to on the outside where D. Slay usually plays, is now receivers have almost a two-way or three-way go if you're talking about, you know, pushing vertically or going inward or outward. Whereas on, you know, on the, on the edges, typically receivers only have, you know, they can either take it deep or break inside because if they're going to break outside, the cornerback is usually able to, to recover quick enough considering it's such a long throw and they have the sidelines helping them out. Well, well, Keenan says, hey, Darius, let's see how comfortable you are in space here. And again, he gets Darius to buy on, uh, on one of these, one of these you know, fakes as he's going to take a quick jab step to the outside. Darius, who, who you know, he, he initially thinks that it's probably going to be an outward breaking route. He, he puts a hand on as, he, as you can kind of see him fighting for that outside leverage. Well, again, it's just, it's just you know, Keenan getting him to bite, to bite on, on a fake as he's going to break it back inside on the slant. And even though he has some good separation at first, you know, D. Slay, he, he has great recovery speed, and he's able to get almost right back in that hip pocket. But, you know, again, Keenan's able to just go up there with those soft hands and, and haul in a ball despite being, being you know, absolutely smothered by, by a Pro Bowl, all-pro level cornerback. And it's just plays like these that are so impressive because, you know, he really has no business bringing in this ball with, with Darius Slay wrapped all over him. But, but he does because it's Keenan Allen, and that's what makes him so special. And I really like this last play because it's kind of a, 
an encapsulation of a lot of the stuff that we've talked about to this point. So what we're going to see is off the snap, Keenan Allen, he, he has a cornerback with, an out, with outside leverage on him, right? So what is he going to do? He's going to go for an inside release with, with that quick little free step again to try and throw throw the defender off sorts a little bit, right? But then what you're going to see is, you know, where Keenan's trying to get on this route is, is, you know, back in this range outside the numbers. So if you want to call it a, a fade, if you want to call it a, a, a deep corner, you can call it whatever you want. But what I want you to do is watch how Keenan is, is you know, how he's going to get there, basically, kind of the creativity that we were talking about earlier. Because what you're going to see here is Keenan is, is starting to go outside, right? And, you know, he feels that defender's right there. So what is he going to do? He's going to try and break him off as, as he puts this back to the inside now. And now you think, okay, it was just a, a double move corner to post, right? So now, as, as we've seen on, on many plays where this gets the defender way out of whack, this Colts defender does not bite. So he's right there in Keenan's hip pocket. What does Keenan do? He puts the foot in the ground again and breaks it back towards the outside. And now this is when he has the Colts defender all out of sorts. We, we pull out the bear hug. And, you know, Keenan tosses his hands up. Is he asking for the ball? Is he asking for a flag? Probably a little bit of both. And, and Phil gives him the ball without the flag. And it doesn't really matter because even though we have another, you know, defender in Malik Hooker beating down on, on him as well, Keenan has, you know, that great body control to time his jump perfectly, go up and high point this catch. He has the concentration to ignore, you know, the fact that there's two defenders around him and he has the soft hands to bring it in and get six points for the Chargers. And, you know, it's plays like these where, you know, he's just putting all of that, all that creativity and all that route running release stuff that we talked about earlier. It's where he's putting it all together to, to make really nice plays and, you know, put points on the board for the Chargers. And as a result, that's why he is number 82 on my list. And, you know, last but not least, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and, you know, also leave a comment down below. Don't only tell me what you thought of the video or the list, but also tell me what are your thoughts about Keenan Allen going forward? I know I'm not projecting with this spot on the list, but how do you think he's going to do with, with a new quarterback under center in either Herbert or Tyrod, you know? Do you think that his production has kind of been inflated just due to that rapport and relationship that he's had with Philip Rivers, who was kind of force-feeding him targets, it seemed like, there a little bit? And, you know, now he's going to kind of take a step back. Or do you think that he is, he's just so good? And, you know, these, these release techniques or route running techniques and, you know, his hands and body control, do you think all that stuff is just, it's just you know, going to translate to no matter who's at quarterback, he's still going to get open at a consistent basis and, and haul in these balls at the catch point? You know, it's a really interesting discussion to be had. But ultimately, I don't see you guys comment down below. We're not going to be able to have it. And, you know, other than that, all, all I have for you guys is make sure if you did enjoy this video and want to see more like it, to subscribe, you know. I don't only have the, the previous 18 videos in this series in the same style. We're also going to have 81 more coming down the pipeline here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I'm definitely enjoying putting these videos out. But with that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm mic'd up and I'm mic'ing out. Peace, guys.